Hi everyone, I'm Megan Newman, a paleontology preparator at the Children's Museum of Indianapolis. And today I'm here to walk you through a geologic time activity, um, just to try to get a good idea of what geologic time is. So from the formation of the earth all the way until today, we're gonna try to squeeze that down into 10 feet. Um, so you're gonna need just a few basic supplies. Um, first, you're going to want a piece of string or yarn that's about 10 feet long. Um, so I already have mine cut and I've put it on my wall onto my floor. You can lay this out on a carpet or if you want to put it on a wall, that's totally fine. If you wanna do this outside, that's a good place to do it too. Um, wherever is easy. Uh, the next tool that you'll want is just some sort of measuring tool. So I've got a tape measure. Uh, you can use a ruler or a yardstick, really whatever you have around is perfect. Anything that measures feet and inches. And then finally, you're gonna want some paper and then some drawing instruments. So I use crayons, you can use markers or pens or pencils, whatever you have around. Um, but basically, I'm going to be walking you through different events from the fossil record, um, different events from Earth's deep past, and we're going to be making a timeline on our string. So I drew pictures for each event. I'll go ahead and tell you what event we're talking about, and that way you'll be able to draw along with me if you'd like. But if you'd rather just write out the event, that's totally fine too. Uh, really totally up to you. Um, but just so you know, this video will be posted on our Facebook page afterwards. So if you um, want to follow along later, that'll all be available. So just to give you a little bit of background um, on what I do, I am a preparator. And so that means that I focus on cleaning and repairing dinosaur bones at the museum. If you visited us and stopped by the Paleo Lab, you might have talked to me or one of my awesome coworkers. Um, we love visiting with people. We love answering questions. That's that's my favorite part of the job. And one question that I get really, really frequently is, "How old are these dinosaur bones?" Which is such a cool question, right? Most of the bones we're working on now are about 150 million years old, which is a huge number. But when I say that number, sometimes it's really difficult to conceptualize what that means. So hopefully this activity today will help you kind of get a better grasp of what that means um, when we talk about things that are millions and millions of years old. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, our first event that we're gonna talk about is the formation of the earth. So I've drawn earth. If you wanna take some time and start drawing earth, we're gonna talk about where this is on the timeline. Um, right now, scientists think that Earth is about 4.6 billion years old, so billion with a B. Um, that's a really big number, but all we need to know right now is that's the start of our timeline, right? We're looking at geologic time, so that's the start of our timeline. But you're going to wanna to take this, whatever drawing or, or um, note that you have, and put it at the beginning of your timeline. So remember, We've got the beginning of our timeline is this end, and then today is up at the top. So this is going to be at zero at the beginning of our timeline. I'm gonna go put it down. All right, perfect. And again, this video will be posted later. So if you want more time to do your drawings, feel free to watch this later um, and, and take care of it on your own time, okay? Awesome. Um, so our next event that we're going to talk about is the oldest rock that scientists have found. So I drew a rock. Here's my rock. You can draw the rock however you'd like. Um, I made it have stripes because the oldest rock is a rock called gneiss. Um, but you might be wondering, wait, why isn't the oldest rock the same age as Earth? Fair question, good question. Um, rocks are not as stationary as you might think. You know, over our lifetime, rocks pretty much stay the same, but over millions and millions of years, they change. Um, they can be broken down, they can be changed with heat or pressure. A lot of things happen to rocks. So the oldest rock that we've found is 4.2 billion years old, or 4,200 million years old. And I've got these all written in million years ago, just to help keep it consistent. So we're gonna go ahead and measure this one. Um, I'm gonna measure this one too. So got my, my tape measure. It's going to be 10 inches from the origin of the earth. Remember timeline, we're moving closer to today, but we're only gonna move by 10 inches for our rock. So if you have your rock drawn, come with me. Let's measure it on the timeline. So 
10 inches. Right there. Perfect. Okay, great. So now we're gonna start talking about living things. I've drawn a cell here. It kind of looks like a fried egg with different structures inside. We're going to talk about the first of a special kind of cell. These are called eukaryotes. They have what we call a nucleus. And these are really important because they're the kind of cells, the basic building blocks that make up living things, that make up a lot of things alive today, like people. Uh, my dog is made up of these kinds of cells, plants, things like that. So these really set the stage for the life that comes after. Um, there were other kinds of cells before, but these were really important. So the first record of these was 1.8 billion years ago. That's the first time these show up in the fossil record. So if you wanna come with me, this is actually going to be, what do you think? Do you think this is going to be closer to the origin, the, the formation of the earth or closer to today? It's actually going to be about halfway in between. We're going to measure six feet and one inch from the formation of the earth until this, this type of cell so shows up in the fossil record. So I've already marked out my measurements to make this a little easier, but if you wanna join me, we're gonna measure again six feet and one inch from the beginning of our timeline. Wow, okay. So we're getting closer to today, aren't we? Remember the top of my timeline is today? We're starting to get up there. Perfect. So let's talk about something really cool too. We're gonna talk about the first fish. So if everybody can draw a fish with me. Here's my fish, it's in the ocean. See what you can do. Also, I'm not the best drawer, but I enjoy it and that's the important part. But if you make some really cool drawings that you wanna share with us, please do, we would love to see those. So anyway, our first fish in the fossil record is really cool because this is the first animal that showed up with a backbone. So we have backbones. Dinosaurs have backbones. They're vertebrates. These are all really important. But the first vertebrate, the first fish, showed up about 520 million years ago. Wow, that's still a big number, isn't it? 520 million years ago. So what do you think? Do you think that's going to be closer to that first cell? Or do we think it's gonna be closer to today? What do you think? So it's actually gonna be about halfway between that first cell and today. Wow, we're really, we're really moving towards today, aren't we? I'm gonna go ahead and measure this one. It's going to be at eight feet and 10 inches. Okay, so we remember start at the formation of the earth and then we keep getting closer to today. So everything that is further down is older and this is younger. Makes sense, cool. All right, so the next thing we're going to talk about are rocks in the state of Indiana. So I've drawn the state of Indiana. It kind of looks like a boot. If there's anything else, I'm trying to hide the, the years. If there's anything else that you can think of that reminds you of Indiana, you can draw that, maybe a basketball. Uh, so one question I get a lot at the Children's Museum is if there are dinosaur fossils in Indiana. What a cool question. I would love to find a dinosaur in my backyard. We're gonna kind of talk about that here. Um, so just remember this number. The youngest rocks in Indiana are about 290 million years old. Okay, so can you try to remember that number? It's really big, but 290 million years old. And these are the youngest rocks. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this up on our timeline and I'm gonna show you where the rest of the rocks in Indiana lie. The rest of the rocks are older, so they're going to be under where I put this, but I'll show that for you. So. And again, this, this will be at nine feet, four inches. So we're, we're getting really close to that 10 feet mark, aren't we? So right about there. And remember, all the other bedrock in Indiana is older, so it's going to be below this point. Okay, so let's just remember that, because now we get to talk about what everybody's been waiting for. See, here we go. 
dinosaurs. Perfect. So we're going to talk about the first dinosaur. They might have looked something like this. So here again is my, my drawing of a dinosaur. Drawings you want to share? Please do. I love seeing pictures of dinosaurs. I'm guessing a lot of you know when the first dinosaur in the fossil record was around. If you know when dinosaurs first appeared, go ahead and, and say it right now. So they showed up about 230 million years ago, 230, 225, somewhere around there. Um, that's a long time ago. That was during the Triassic. And dinosaurs were around for a while. But I'm going to go ahead and measure this and put this up. This is going to be at 9 feet and 6 inches. Okay, so remember that's going to be a little bit higher than our Indiana rocks, and we'll we'll talk about that a little bit more. Okay. Right there. So remember how we said all of the other rocks in Indiana were going to be down here. They're older, but the first dinosaur dinosaur showed up here. So there won't be any dinosaur fossils in Indiana because by the time the youngest rocks were deposited, there weren't any dinosaurs. And when the dinosaurs showed up, these rocks were already here. So the fossils can't be in, in those rocks. So I hope that makes sense. It's, it's interesting to think about. They might have been around, but they weren't preserved. There aren't any rocks left from that time period in Indiana. All right, so now all good things must come to an end with dinosaurs. Here is a drawing of my Triceratops. You can draw any dinosaur that was around at the end of the time of the dinosaurs. Triceratops just happens to be my favorite. But I'm guessing some of you know when dinosaurs went extinct, right? Can you go ahead and say, say about how many million years ago? About 65, 66 million years ago. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna go put this up. We know it's going to be closer to today than the first dinosaur, right? But we'll see, we'll see how close that is. So if you have your drawing, we're gonna go put it up. This one will be at nine feet and 10 inches. Perfect, so even though dinosaurs were around for millions of years, you can see on our timeline, that's only about, only about that far in our 10 feet. Pretty cool. All right, so we're getting closer to today. I did wanna talk about one more thing that happened, the ice age. So I've drawn some snowflakes and some, some snowy hills and uh, a woolly mammoth. I know your woolly mammoth will be better. Great, I like to practice draws. We lost, we lost one, of our, one of our displays, that's okay. But if you wanna go ahead and draw this ice age, that, that happened a long time ago, right? A lot of those animals are extinct. It happened about two million years ago, okay? So that feels like a really long time. Two million is a really big number. But when we put this on our timeline, our 10 feet timeline, it's so close to today, it's going to be over nine feet and 11 inches. So it's going to be right next to the end of our timeline, right next to today. So let's go ahead and put that up. All right, one last thing, people. So I've made a drawing of some people. People appeared relatively recently in geologic time. Um, so they appeared about 0.3 million years ago, but on our timeline, that's basically the same as today. So I'm gonna put this right at the very end, people, okay? All right, so now we have our completed timeline and we also are showing a table of these measurements in case you wanna do this at home. Um, but the really cool thing to notice is that it took a while, right? So we started at the formation of the earth. It took a while for cells to show up, these special kinds of cells. And then we had fish and dinosaurs and the ice age all happened pretty quickly. So even though we're using 10 feet to represent this time, one inch is still 38 million years. Whoa, that's still a long time. But I think this is a better way to visualize it. 
Um, this is a really big concept, a really big idea. So this is one way that you can try to think about it. Um, today we did talk about a lot of topics pretty briefly. So if any of these made you curious, now is a really good time to have your adult help you research through those. So like radiometric dating or the fossil record or the geologic time scale, super cool things. And if you'd like, you're always welcome to come talk with us in the lab. We love to talk about all of these topics. But if you have any questions, please let us know. And uh, I appreciate you spending some time with me and I can't wait to see you back at the museum.